Sri Lanka's education sector, which suffered disruptions due to both the COVID-19 pandemic and the teacher-principal trade union strikes, has resumed for grades 1 to 5 and grades 11 to 13. Earlier this week, the government announced plans to resume schools for grades 6 to 9 as well from next Monday. However, public adherence towards the health and safety guidelines has been seen to be deteriorating after reopening. This, health experts say, could be the reason for the rise in COVID cases in the country in the past week, including infections among students and teachers. As such, Director General of Health Services Dr. Asila Gunavardhana said today that measures will be taken to identify infected students and quarantine them in the future. Now we are going to issue a detailed circular regarding the case identification and how to do the quarantine or the testing in a school when a case was identified. And this will help the principals, zonal directors, our RBSPDs, the medical officer of health in the region to prevent uh, spreading within the school. As the UNICEF, as well as the other researchers, what we have shown so far, they have clearly indicated that the school premises are more safer than their houses. Schools are to be the first to open and should close at last during the pandemic. So I earnestly request from all the parents, please send your children to the schools. And parents who are not immunized, please get your vaccine as soon as possible from the nearest MOH of the hospital because you all are at risk and if you are at risk you have a great chance to spread that disease to the children also. So then that children will go to school without noticing and then you will give the disease from yourself to the children to the schools as well. So Meanwhile, studies carried out by the US Center for Disease Control has shown that following basic health guidelines to prevent contracting COVID-19 has been effective in preventing other illnesses as well. In particular, research shows that contraction of other respiratory diseases such as the common cold, seasonal flu and influenza have been greatly reduced through the wearing of face masks. ुलवाचन <laughs> Meanwhile, the Vaccine and Infectious Diseases Forum of Sri Lanka today refuted claims made by Professor Tissa Vitarana, claiming that mRNA vaccines were harmful. In an article, Professor Vitarana stated that the Pfizer and Moderna mRNA vaccines aren't safe as they contain viable genetic material that leads to uncertainty over how it could combine with human genes. However, the Vaccine and Infectious Diseases Forum of Sri Lanka today assured the safety of the vaccines, saying that mRNA is not the same as DNA and it can't combine with human DNA to change our genetic code. They added that it is also relatively fragile and once it is introduced into the cell, it will degrade within 72 hours. Leave Ayush, Kaha Sabang, Sandak Vage Babalan, Peviturusamakata.